my brother. You listen to the message today. Yes, sir. What are you taking home? I'm taking home the fact that I must deny myself, carry my cross, and follow Jesus. That but before now, commitment. you were born again? Yes, man of God. Okay. But now, you are not denying yourself, Abby? Yes, true man of God. Okay, you want to go and deny yourself now? Yes, man of God. How do you deny yourself? <laughs> By giving total commitment to God and not just lip service. There's an injection you were taking before. That used to hire people. I'm happy you have realized that you need to deny yourself and take up your cross. Yes, my God. Not just accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. If you say you accept Jesus, then only commitment will ask Jesus to accept you, to take you. The commitment is the one that will introduce you, not the acceptance. You say, I say, I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior, truly, genuinely. But the commitment will now be the one to introduce you. Jesus, okay, this is a beloved one. You're healing because you want to live for God. Amen. Okay? Amen. That is why they cannot ask you, where is money? Bring money, bring money, bring food, bring this, bring that. No. Because to live for God, that is why you are receiving this healing. Come on! Come on. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, people of God. My name is Derek Nurenda. I'm a Zimbabwean that's currently residing in Kenya. The problem that brought me to the Synagogue Church of All Nations is that of difficulty in walking caused by a broken femur. I sustained a broken femur earlier on this year, an accident that occurred whilst I was running. As a result of that accident, I was impaired I spent a month out of work, and the pain that followed was unbearable. It stopped me from um, enjoying the simple things in life. I could not move with freedom. I could not sit for too long, stand for too long. My entire existence reminded me of the fact that I'd broken a leg and I was in pain. So it affected um, my work. I was highly dependent um, on drugs to help me cope with the pain. And that is what brought me to the Synagogue Church of All Nations in, sort of a, uh, in pursuit of a solution. So as a result of my injury, I had to use um, crutches to help me um, with my mobility, if I wanted to get places. Um, my leg, I couldn't lift it. I had to drag it along. Uh, it had lost muscle strength and power. So I had seen multiple orthopedic surgeons in different countries in Kenya and in South Africa. But the last orthopedic surgeon that we consulted indicated the fact that I needed to go back into surgery. And once I had returned to my original sur uh, orthopedic surgeon, he advised that he sees nothing wrong. So there was a conflict in medical opinion over my situation. Therefore, I decided that I was going to consult and seek the word of God over my life and situation. And that is what brought me here. When I came here, by the grace of God, the man of God located me. And when it located me, he came towards me and he started ministering towards me. In ministering towards me, he told me that it is not the acceptance of Jesus Christ that brings him to the scene. It is your total commitment to him that brings him to the scene. And once he did that, he also prophesied upon my life and indicated the fact that I had been using drugs that make me high. And I confirmed that prophecy to be true in this point because I had been highly dependent on codeine as a substance to help me cope with pain. Soon as the man, uh, as soon as the man of God was done ministering to me, um, I don't even think he touched me. Um, and he, he just drew his hand towards me, and instantly I felt an unspeakable um, surge of power go.
go through my entire body, go through my entire being, and I do not remember what happened. All I know is I felt that power. And when I stood up, it was as if something had left me and I was finding myself again. That is what happened. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? So you mean you felt that overwhelming power, the presence of God. And when you stood up, what happened? When I stood up, I stood up with a renewed um, sense of energy. My bones felt really strengthened to a point where I could stand on one leg, which I could never do before. Mm. Just dressing up in my clothes, I would need to sit on the bed. But now I can actually stand on the leg that was previously injured. Mm. So I felt a large sense of, of renewal uh, within my entire being. Mm. So you mean now that all the things you could not do before, you can now do them? And the pain is now a thing of the past? Yes, the pain is now a thing of the past in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Yes, to the glory of God, can you now move and let us see what the Lord has done in your life? Can you still feel the pain as you're moving? There is no pain whatsoever. Oh, to God be the glory. And remember, in your testimony, you said you were addicted to codeine because of this terrible pain. So now, are you still addicted to drugs now? Are you still having that issues? No, um, I have no desire to take drugs. The enemy tried to tempt me with a headache. I could not even take painkillers to, mm. uh, to do that headache. So... I have no affinity or desire towards taking any drugs. I'm wow. pain-free and drug-free. Wow. The advice that I have for them is the same advice that the prophet gave last week. That it is not just acceptance of Christ Jesus. It is your total commitment to Jesus Christ. Denying yourself is what compels Jesus to approach and come on the scene. So be committed to God like the man of God said. It is not only accepting him as your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, but be totally committed to him with your body, spirit, and soul, and it shall be well with you in Jesus' name.